Good morning, everyone. My name is Matt. If this is your first time watching, welcome. Thanks for checking it out. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate your continued support. Well, today I have quite the video for you. I have put together not one, not two, but 20. Uh, you thought I was going to say three. I tricked you. 20 different roof types, as you can see behind me. And I'm just going to go through some of them, you know, just kind of talk about a little bit of the history behind them, uh, how to make them and where they look good in builds. So the first roof type we have is the Skillion, aka the mono pitched roof. It was very common in Victoria home extensions, but has recently gained popularity in neo-modernistic styles where natural lighting is a large feature. One of the coolest things about it is you can have these really uh, neat kind of skylights letting in a lot of natural light and without taking out the look of the build at all. The next one we have is the open gable roof. It is the most common occurring roof shape in colder climates, invoking looks of a simpler time on the European countryside. It's your standard roof with your stairs going up and down. A lot of people call it an A-frame, but the technical term is an open gable. Dating all the way back to early ancient Greek temples, box gables are a great way to add your own artistic spin on a classic. Mosaics and interesting patterns are always welcome. As you see, I got some interesting wood stuff and a little guy up there in gold armor. But it's pretty much the same, but this part is filled up. The next is a dormer, derived from the French, I'm going to butcher this, but uh, I think it's a dormeur. <laughs> Provides extra lighting and space to an attic level bedroom, and it's become an enormous part of French architecture. It's, you know, this classic little window out with the connecting stairs. Popularized in the U.S. during early Gregorian period, hip roofs are common in areas with high wind and hurricanes, but are also an important characteristic in French and colonial French Creole style. Very simple. You have two different sides. This side slopes up and this side slopes up, but this side comes to a point while this side comes to a trapezoid. It's very important be to remember that one side is trapezoidal because there is a house I say house very loosely, these are walls and roofs, but there is a, a, a roof design down there where they all come to a point, and I'll get with that later. Now this is a hip and valley. It's a simple hip roof all around, but formed into the shape of a T on the top. So you have this part jutting out, and you have the hip and the valley. Pretty simple stuff. While its exact origin is unknown, the first gambrel roof was on the second Harvard Hall in 1617, a very classic barn design as it allows for a large amount of attic space for storing things such as grain and tobacco. It's super easy to achieve and has these two distinct angles. Uh, this one, which is just using stairs with a block in between, and then this one is just stairs leading up to just some slabs at the top. A four-sided gambrel or hip roof and popularized in the French Baroque period is called a mansard, which is what this is. Mansard, meaning attic or garret space, is also used to refer to gambrel roofs in England because they're very weird and I'm not going to say anything else. But yeah, super simple design, same as the uh, gambrel down there, except it goes up on all four sides. Butterfly roofs are a very popular design for postmodern vacation homes for warm climates and have recently rose to more popularity for their environmental benefits, such as collecting rainwater via this middle bit and allowing for larger windows, reducing costs for heating and cooling. So instead of having the roof be here, you have it up here, which allows for a window that could extend the entire way. The intersecting or overlaid hip features a combination of gable and hip roofs that are usually on top of very intricately built homes, providing a classic yet grandiose visual. Again, super simple to make. You just have this uh, top part, which is uh, just like a normal roof. And then here you have your little hip roof. Uh, it could go out as far as you want it to. It doesn't have to be right next to it. But these are good for little additions onto main homes where you don't want to take away the, the, the feel of the larger bit, but you want to have a little bit on the outside. Similar to the intersecting roof is the Dutch gable featuring a tiny little gable on top of a hip roof. 
you have the small gable on top you could put in like a little window or something or a balcony coming out uh, with your hip roof on the bottom dating all the way back to medieval times jerkin head roofs regained popularity in the mid 1920s and have been used in many park buildings such as uh, lodges since then these are really interesting as they look kind of like a gambrel roof but at the top they have the sloped bit uh, so they give it a really different and interesting look an ancient and simple roof typically found in arid climates flat roofs are great for keeping out the heat of the sun however they have found a new rise with modern and neo-modern styles behind facades such as an office building or a cvs and this whole bit is like built up a ton with your logos and such but then behind it is just a really simple flat roof with some drainage and some uh, air conditioning vents and such. This is a crossed hip roof. It's really simple to understand. It's a hip roof, but it forms an L. Yeah, that's really it. Ah, yes. The uh, M-shaped roof. I think these look dumb. I don't know. I think they look stupid and pretentious seen a lot of quote-unquote modern apartment buildings featuring this style you know dire it i can handle but this 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 needs to go i missed a bit folklore tells that the salt box roof was first used in new england as a way for people to avoid queen anne's taxation of houses greater than one story as the rear of the house descends to one story making the entire house one story by their laws super interesting kind of idea very asymmetrical as it lines up uh, here you can take on different uh different shapes i think they're usually more curved like this should go up and then that one comes down at a kind of like a parabola i guess but yeah pretty interesting and also an interesting name similar to the uh to the first roof but more kind of just straight is the shed roof you know as the name suggests it's a roof that's put on a shed don't really need much else now this is the bonnet roof and it dates back to the early 18th century where they were used in poland and germany as greenhouses as the bonnet part protected the plants they also gained popularity in creole architecture and worked very well for having open air porches so if you're going to have you know like an outdoor bit like your uh, door is here you could line all of this with uh wood and then maybe put some fence or walls in and you have this nice little uh, overhang bit that works very well for just a little porch a take on the hip roof a pyramid roof has all four sides meeting up at a point forming a pyramid on top of the house they're used a lot in modern architecture as good eye catchers but personally i just find them kind of lazy and ugly i much prefer all the way down here these uh these hip roofs as they just have a more appealing style to me i like the shape of it better but yeah the hip roof and the pyramid roof are pretty similar except the pyramid roof just comes to a point on all four sides rather than two and finally a, a very interesting and hard shape to make hexagonal roofs are very popular for circular gazebos and towers as it's easier to use flat things for flat surfaces than uh, for curved surfaces who'd have thought so yeah, this is just a trapezoid that I continued up and took out. I'm bad at building trapezoids, so it doesn't look as good as it probably should or could. But I think it looks decent enough, kind of sloping up from a trapezoid. That just about wraps this video up. Thanks for joining me. I really do hope you had fun even with all of this learning and kind of quick paced roofs. Stay safe, and until next time, good night.